happens sometimes as we talk in middle school, but something's come up. My life hasn't been super eventful other than a few things here and there. I don't particularly enjoy my private high school, but I'm sure pizza's going on in Kevin so. I've been looking for a job as I'm coming across more and more instances where I have to borrow money from my father, and I think eventually he's going to become angry with me. Speaking of parents, my mother died of cancer recently, I'm coming back to town for a funeral. Maybe I could drop in at your apartment and we could catch up. I think that'd be fun. Anyways, I'll be seeing you later. Oh my god, I feel so bad for you. Oh my gosh, I can't stop crying. I feel like someone your age shouldn't have done through this. Yeah, it's very sad what happened to her. Yeah, I, I really feel bad for you because I know a uh, boy your age shouldn't lose his mother this early. It's got to be really hard on you. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't understand why you're not so upset about this. I mean, you should really be con crying, showing some emotion. Sue, so, I think we need to give him some time alone. Excuse me, the viewing hours are about to end. If you'll come with me, um, I'll take you to your mother's body. I'd rather not. But this would be the last time you get to see her. I know. Oh, are you sure that's what you want? I'm sure. Okay. for the weekend. All right, my friend, I uh, think this is it. Yeah. 
as you're told. Clean yourself up. Michael, it's great to see you. How long is it? Three or four years. Sarah, make my friend a drink. On it. Come on in. So how's that cushy-ass private school been? It's been fine. How's that for you? Never a dull moment. My mom never comes around anymore. I told her it was either her boyfriend or me, and she chose her boyfriend. He's scared of what I'll do to him, so I never see her anymore. But hey, I got the house to myself, so I'm not complaining. Sounds nice. What have I told you? What? The ice. Where's the fucking ice? these three shit stains on the apartment below me and they keep on messing with Sarah. Can you fix that for me? What do you want me to do about it? Is that real? Where'd you get this? I know some people. So you want to help me? I'll check it out. There we go. I knew I could count on you. So, when do you want me to go? How about now? Sure, I'll head out now. And come back when you're done. Alright. Help 
fucks up on that. What are you doing? I heard your friend screwing around with the girl upstairs. Where is she? This is helping her out with her math homework. I asked, where is she? Fuck, fuck, Come on. Atif, what's happening? You guys have this stop coming here. You told Granny so many times we're just helping her with school work. I'll do it when I see it. Alright, uh, just, just come on this way. She's over here. Sarah, I'll put a bullet in each of your skulls. Fine, we'll stay away from her. You know what? I'm sick and tired of people like you. I think I should just slit your fucking throat. Oh. Where's Sarah? She's waiting outside. Why? She doesn't want to see you. Motherfucker! I'll deal with it. You can keep the gun. Thanks. So, you've been down at the soup kitchen recently? Yeah, man. Been helping out there pretty much every few days. That's nice. Uh, I go there on the weekends. Do you ever go by them? It's been good seeing you. Good to see you too, man. And uh, it's good that you're helping out that girl with her math. I mean, I know her boyfriend's like really terrible. Yeah, so, you're a really, you're really doing guy. a good thing. We'll see you later. See you later, man. Goddamn freak. Get the hell on out of here. Why are you looking at me like that, man? Screw off.
is Charles Ruffalo from CBS News. On May 3rd, Michael Mersoul savagely murdered a man named Atib Khan. Now, he has been sentenced to death for the murder and will spend the rest of his days in solitary confinement, far away from the other prisoners. salvation to everyone, especially in that time like this. Why would you refuse to see me? Maybe I don't want salvation. Are you sure? A man like you can't be sure. I'm sure. It's only natural for a man in your position to turn to God. Well, I guess I'm not natural. Sir. Don't call me sir. Call me father. You're not my father. You're not even on my side. I am on your side. But you can't see that because your heart is blind. I will pray for you. Listen, you're a fucking piece of shit. Don't pray for me. Don't pity me. Take your fucking salvation out of that door and never speak to me again. I will lay down my love with courage, knowing that I never find any solace in something so trivial as what you're doing. Get the fuck out of here! You know, they were right about you. You're a godless, psychotic maniac. 